Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time, we explored the Quicksand Cave. No, we did not. We did not explore the Quicksand Cave. We explored the Northern Desert. Forget I said anything there. That was a slip up on my part. Anyway, this episode, who knows what we may explore. Shit. <laughs> oh no. Oof. Um, and that brings us to today. The Great Dusnor and I are working out a new strategy. While we develop this strategy, we ask for you all to search the time gears on your own initiative. That is all. Alright everyone, work hard again today. Hooray. I can't believe I just goofed that up. Oh no. We're just going to search on our own today, Fanfy. Where should we go? Hmm, I wonder. We can search all we want, but we don't have a clue. Oh, wait a second. Yesterday, when we were out there, at the northern desert, mind you, this feeling. It's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I, I know this place. Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that was a dead end for our search. But maybe there really are secrets there. What's wrong? You seem to be in a daze again. Pardon? You want us to go back to quicksand desert? Alright, so I guess, you know, give or take. But we were there yesterday. We didn't find anything. What? When we were at the quicksand desert, you had the same sensations that you had at Fogbound Lake? Wow, it's almost like we've repeated that three times now. Let's go there. Alright. They're going back to the quicksand desert. Not the quicksand cave, nor the northern desert. And, for the record, I don't know if this is picking up at all, but my computer is, like, fucking running a fan. So it must be overheating. And it is extremely loud. Probably because I'm also exporting an episode of Neatopia, so that, that could do it. Um, I can't really talk now. I want to talk about something, but I can't really do it now because we have a little bit more dialogue. So once we get into a dungeon, then I got a little story. And it's about last night, so this could be fun. Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. It's just this white sand stretching out in front of us. And quicksand pits. Obviously. Is there something more here? What kinds of secrets are hidden here? It's very faint. But I can still feel it. This place. I know it somehow. But looking over this, I have to admit, Vulpix is right. There really is nothing here but the desert and the quicksand pits. And aside from those pits, there's nothing. Wait. Wait a second. There's only quicksand. That's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward. Or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, Fanfy? Pardon? What did you say? You want us to jump into the quicksand? Are you serious, Fanfy? You know what? Someone needs to make a counter. How many times does your partner... I. It's definitely the most in this game out of all the other Mystery Dungeon games. How many times does your partner repeat what you just said? Whether you indirectly said it or not, it's always just the, like the, what? Did you just say, and then they literally say their whole entire line of dialogue all over again. Someone please make a counter. Because I'm honestly, it's got to be like upper 30s, I'd imagine. Okay, I trust you, Fanfy. I have faith in you. It's all thanks to you that I've come so far during our first exploration. And yeah, we know this one. I put my faith in you that time, too, Fanfy. I was able to go on then because you helped me be brave. My feelings haven't changed since then. So let's go for it. Let's jump into that quicksand pit, Fanfy. Both things said Fanfy like 20 times there, and I only said it twice because I was like, alright, now that's redundant. One, two, three, go. Pokemon go into the quicksand. Ah, my backside. W where are we? Is this a cave? A quicksand cave? Oh, it's almost like I kind of spoiled that. We dropped, through, we dropped through this way, then. You're right, Bampy. You're right. The secret swirled within the quicksand. Let's move it. It's time to go exploring. Let's search for that time gear. Quicksand cave. <laughs> kind of goof that one up. Um, although there's fog, thankfully there's no, um, sandstorm, or else this cave would literally be the worst. Now, about last night, you guys were actually there for it. 
So, I was recording a, um, episode of a series, which I don't know if it's going to be uploaded yet or not, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's just, it's, um, it's the Nintendo Switch Online, like, the NES package. I guess that's the best way I can call it. I'm just calling it the Nintendo Switch Online. Point is, so, I'm recording that as a series where I just go through all the games. I don't get into why I kind of wanted to do that later. And I was playing through the Yoshi game when I came up with the idea, you know what, I don't think I've ever, like, recorded while, um, drunk before. But I do like to drink. That's one of my, uh, I guess, things I will admit that I probably shouldn't do. But I mean, you know, whatever. And so I was thinking to myself, I wonder if it would be entertaining if, uh, I were to drink while recording because there are so many times I love drinking with my friends it is the funniest thing sometimes because we have no idea what's going on and it's just it's just a blast through and through point is um I wound up doing it I finished the recording the Yoshi and then I took like a bunch of I have this climax moonshine and so I took a bunch of um bunch of shots I think I had like six before I started and right away I was like, okay, now what game am I going to record while, like, you know, feeling like this? And for whatever reason, I was, like, thinking to myself, I feel like it would be fun to do a racing game. Because, like, you know, be like, haha, drunk driving. But for the record, let me state, and I think I, I hope I said this last night. I think I remember saying it. Oh my god! Um, drunk driving is not, like, funny at all. Like, do not do that. You will get seriously injured, if not killed. So I will not joke about that at all. But I was just... D fuck off with the fury swipes, you prick. But, um, I will not joke about that. However, I thought, like, it would... Uh, I thought it would be, you know, entertaining to, like, kind of, I don't know, drive around while doing this. Wow, these people are, like, kicking my ass. Fulpix, you have, like... I don't know, nothing? You don't have any moves you can use, like, while behind me? So I recorded that. A fucking course. And then afterwards, I was like, okay, what do I want to record now? Because at the time, I was like, I don't want to play any more. Oh my god, there's two of them. I was like, I don't want to play any more Mario Kart. So... I always miss rollout. What the fuck? What the fluffing out? Thank you. So then, for whatever reason, I was like, I want to play a Zelda game. So what did I decide to play? Thank you. I decided to play the fucking Wind Waker, the game that I already beat. And so I was like, all right, we're starting a new series. It's Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Hero Mode. And I literally recorded one episode of that, and I can proudly tell you, I will never go back to it. <laughs> so, I don't know why I didn't, I know why I didn't record Mystery Dungeon, because Mystery Dungeon is a series where, like, I want it to be a little bit more, like, serious, I don't want it to be like, Dungeon, Dungeon, Dungeon. Because, that would have been, like, terrible. Imagine trying to, like, I would have skipped all the dialogue, oh, I would not have been good. Point being, I don't know if I'll probably do that again, because I feel, unless I ha have, like, my own series, like, a series dedicated to um, doing that, then I don't really have anything to record. Like, I was sitting there, I was like, what do I want to do? I was like, Metopia's on my... Oh, nice. I was like, Metopia's on my computer, and I'm kind of, like, recording off my TV right now, so... I didn't want to, like, go ahead and do that. Of course, Persona 3 and Mystery Dungeon are, um, way too dialogue-driven. Oh, shit. To, um, to do something like that with. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will continue doing Wind Waker. Who knows? Definitely not when I'm sober. But if I ever do that again, I'm like, oh, and record. Who knows, maybe we'll come back to playing <laughs> Wind Waker, like, a second time. After I literally just beat it. Ah. Uh, 
No, why bother playing new games when you could rehash old ones? Haha, <laughs> now this is how a real man does it. You fucking piece of shit. Alright, let's get him. Uh, now on the topic of, um, Nintendo Switch Online, because I've not addressed it yet. Um, I got the Nintendo Switch Online, like, back in January. Why? Well, I forget when it came out. But I got it back in, like, January, and I think I activated it, like, in March, because I never, I didn't have a reason to. Like, I got, like, the card at, like, um, Walmart or whatever. And I was like, alright, well, I don't really have anyone to play Smash Online with right now, so I don't really need to play a bunch of randoms. So, I waited until, like, um, just March, so like three months later. And I remember back in January, I'm going to imagine it's January when they released the online thing, because I, I also don't remember um, I remember they showed off, like, they're doing the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo thing. The NES. Where, uh, where I had all, like, the NES games, like, on one package. How many fucking hits does this <laughs> take? Thank you. Well, I shouldn't have said that. That was, uh, pretty bad of me. I apologize. But... I literally forgot about it, and then just, like, recently, I was on, um, my god, rollout, or is this, like, a 50-50 chance? Like, what the fuck, bro? Use rollout. Oh my god, he's gonna miss the second one. Jesus! Fucking roll out, you piece of shit! Holy fuck, I don't care if I die, just roll out. I'm fucking determined to kill this bitch using rollout. Fucking rollout. Now I wasted a fucking reviver seed because I was too stubborn to do anything else, and I can't keep a train of thought, and this fucking Sand Slash is over here. He's probably gonna use Fury Swipes and knock me out, but not if I... Mm. Point is, I wanted to play fucking Nintendo games, and I was like, you know what? This game's fucking stupid. There's your story. The end. Goodbye. Good day. Suck my nuts! Go away! Oh my god! It's like the game knows I'm upset, so they're like, Alright, fine, we'll give you the stupid, like, speed-up thing. Alright. Let me fucking waste a damn reviver seat out of my own stubbornness. I have a pure seed. That was, a that was my... I only carried... Why would I only... Okay. I only have one reviver seed, which I use with this pretty, needless to say, dumb. Yeah, of course he fucking did. There's not gonna be anything to the right because there's no more room. Oh, good. Now there's three of them. All right, let's just. All right, let's just. <laughs> let's all. Of Gang up on you. Ooh. Alright, Volpix. Oh, it's still my turn. Alright, now, rollout! I hate rollout so much! It's such. Why does it always miss? Mm. Ah! What is this? It's literally like you have a 30% chance to hit. Like, that is ridiculoso. <laughs> I don't even think I ever finished why I wanted to play Nintendo Switch Online, like the NES game. But I mean, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. The second I saw the coins, I was like, it's probably a monster house. This is why I have the pure seed. Why would they spawn me so far away? 
Are you kidding me? Are you? Why did they spawn me so far away from the stairs? What do I do? What? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me right now! You're Wow. 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 Fucking, I wish I weren't sober. Thank <laughs> you.